Oh my god, I got a lot of work to do, and I really should not be on here recording, but I'm in my head. And the Father brought back to remembrance where I'm just sitting here flowing by way of the Spirit, watching prophecies of the apocalypse, aliens, and UFOs, and more, right? Um, by Extreme Mysteries. And, bruh, I was just thinking to myself as they popping up this globe and, you know, all of this CGI animation and whatnot. And I'm like, this is exactly why I was so indoctrinated back in the day um, that we lived on a giant spinning ball, bro. But I didn't even look at it like that. And most of you globe earthers, most people that believe we literally live on a spinning globe, on, like on a globe that moves and spins like the scientists, the quote unquote experts have been telling us, bruh. Like, like I was just thinking to myself, man, I can't take too much more of this because it's annoying, you know? Like, the, all the CGI and all of their globe earth and the freaking fake sun and all of this, you know, crap. Um, this, this is what ingrains into our psyche uh, that we live on a freaking globe, okay? <laughs> bro, and then they just have a station, bro. This is so crazy. It's so crazy. It's like, bro. At one point, they have a stationary. They have the globe stationary, okay. And and then they have the CGI of this giant sun that looks like a giant ball of fire. <laughs> like, bro, is that what you see when you look outside and you see the sun? That's not what you see, okay? No, you see more like a freaking disc that freaking e emits this freaking plasmic energy of light, okay? You, you don't see a flaming ball of fire, all right? But th this is the CGI that they give us. So anyway, bro... I, I'm like, Father, it all praises. I was given all glory, honor, and praises to the Most High for giving me the ability to unlearn. Because I used to watch a lot of things like this, okay? Um, before I even knew who I was, for many years, uh, from about 2000s, okay? From about 2000s or so, all the way to about 20 freaking 15 2016 i didn't know who i was bro that's a good 15 years or so 14 15 years now i didn't I, mean, I didn't know who i was but i was and i thought i was living on a giant spinning globe like all my life okay um and even all the way into my freaking 20s 30s you know i believed i lived on a freaking spinning ball shooting through an ever-expanding universe you know with a ball of flaming fire that's the sun and the reason we see it the way it is because it's millions of miles bruh it uh, i just can't I'm, I'm 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 not trying to go on and on and on and on and on but bruh it, you you've got to unlearn the bull crap that these Gentiles done forced you to believe, okay? <laughs> Bruh. This, is, th this was the reason for school, okay? They would not have been able to bring about their agenda had they not forced us all into their public schools, okay? That's the reason they set up the schools, all right? They wanted to indoctrinate you with their worldview, okay? So everything that you think that you know is a lie, okay? And you have to let it go. You got to let it go. Let go of the indoctrinated beliefs, okay? You don't live on a globe. You don't live on a giant spinning ball hurling through infinite in space. No, there is a firmament above your head. That's what you see as the sky, okay?
What you see as the sky is the firmament. It is not outer space. Okay? That's why during the day you see clouds and you can even see the freaking, um, you can see the sky through the moon. Okay? You can see the sky through the moon. Sometimes during the day. Okay? Now, I have pictures of this. You cannot tell me that I'm wrong when I have looked up with my own two eyes and seen the moon transparent to where I could see the sky through it. Okay? And that, that means that the sun and the moon is up at the same time. Now, I've seen this. Okay? I have pictures of it. So you can't tell me different. You're not going to force me to believe that my own two eyes is lying to me. No, you're lying to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because they try to say that one side of the world is night and the other side of the world is day because the sun is two point whatever me billion miles of bruh I just bruh mm, mm, mm. so anyway I was just in my head and thanking the father that I was able to unlearn that BS okay and um since I'm here you know to help people I figured I would share that with you, you know, because one of the reasons I was able to overcome that indoctrination is to be here to help you overcome that indoctrination, okay, because I was thoroughly deceived, okay, so deceived that I didn't even get it, the first hint that was given to me when a Cox agent came over one day. You know, to work on my internet, you know, or install something. I forget what it was, okay? Um, I forget exactly, but I know it was a technician. It was a tech, it was like a Cox technician, okay? Bruh. Um, I remember, I vaguely remember, because I had like... A screensaver, okay? My screensaver was like the Hubble telescope images, okay? Like, that was my... I, I was in love with that stuff, okay? I was heavy into the sci-fi, okay? I love Star Wars, all right? I, my favorite genre of movie was sci-fi, Okay, that was always my favorite genre, bro. I was fascinated with UFOs and aliens, okay? So every single UFO and alien video that that I heard about, bro, I wanted to watch, okay? I was I was so engulfed by that, okay? So, bro, when the technician told me um something about like you know that CGI, right? I didn't even know what the hell CGI meant, okay? He was like, you know, that's, that's not real, right? I'm like, what you mean? And I guess the expression on my face was so hostile, bro. <laughs> like, he just back, he was just like, never mind. He was like, never mind, and just like went on his, man, he, he like, bro, I wish I could talk to him now, bro. I wish I knew him now. Like, oh my gosh. But it was a seed that was planted, bro. And like, oh my gosh. It's just the father's bringing this back to my remembrance, bro. You know, like, I remember being in the groups, you know, on Facebook, you know, yelling at, not, well, yeah, yelling at people, because in my head, I'm yelling, okay, and, um, <clears throat> but not all the time, when I use caps, you know, I, I use caps for emphasis, but I'm a very passionate person, so when I, even when I'm yelling, I'm not doing it out of anger, or like I'm mad at you. <clears throat> I'm just very passionate like that. 
So, um, <clears throat> anyway, um, I'm, I'm just, you know, a very in-your-face type of person, you know? And so I irk people the wrong way. You know, people don't like being around me because I'm so, I'm too real for them, you know? <laughs> like, you know, they, they want you to have some kind of like, you know, you want, they want me to hold back who I am, you know? And I've got that all my life. Like, why should I hold back my personality, bro? Why can't I be free to be me, you know? So anyway, I use this now to convey the things that are on my mind, on my heart, and upon my spirit. And, and it's to help you break free of this matrix that we've all been forced to live in. Because that's exactly what happened, bro. If you believe that you live on a globe, bro, you are plugged into the matrix, okay? Heavily. You are heavily sedated because you are ignoring your own senses, okay? Your own senses tell you that you live on a stationary level plane, okay? That's what your senses tell you. That's what your eyes tell you. That's what your sense of feel tell you. And like, bro, you have to deny that reality, the true reality you have to deny. You deny that in order to believe that you're on a spinning ball shooting throughout the universe, bruh. <laughs> Uh, do you get what I'm saying, people? Do you get what I hope you get what I'm saying to you, okay? Stop denying your own senses to believe what these people have crammed into your psyche. Because these people, <laughs> bruh, <laughs> again, let me dangle this before your eyes again. The CIA director, William Casey, told you. That our disinformation program would be completed when everything that the general public believes to, will be false, okay? It's false. What you believe to be true is false, okay? So, you have to unlearn that. That's why I live on another dimension than most people. That's why they cannot get me, okay? I live on an alternate dimension, I'm in a whole nother reality, okay? Because I'm in the real reality where many of you are in the matrix, okay? You're in the matrix. In your mentality, your worldview, how you see this world, okay? I see this world for the reality of what it is. Satan's kingdom, okay? And I'm trying to tell you that his kingdom is going away. I'm sure that you can feel the effects of this reality crumbling before your eyes, before your face. You see all of these things happening all around you, but you're still grasping on to the reality saying it's going to go back to normal. It's going to go back to normal. If we just chant this, it's going to go back to normal. You know, bro, you're not going back to normal, okay? No, we're ushering in the righteous kingdom, okay? We're bringing in the kingdom of the Messiah, okay? This is the days that has been forespoken of, okay? This is true prophecy that you people want to ignore. You continue to ignore the true ones that the Father put here upon the earth to give fullness of his gospel. You deny us while you go and sit in a church. Being lied to.
You give your money to these charlatans. They are not even helping you. They're keeping your ass asleep. They're keeping you docile in your mentality. But you don't want to listen to me. Because you say I'm too harsh. I'm too hardcore. But I'm giving you his word by the way of the spirit. And I get the hate for it. And it's okay. Because he said, ye shall be hated for my name's sake. And I'm alright with that. I'd rather be hated than loved by the world. Woe unto those that are loved by the world. If you're popular, woe be unto you. Because you are not being used by the Father. No. You're being used by Lucifer. Who said he would set himself up like the Most High. But see, the Messiah commanded his foot soldiers to speak in these days. And that's exactly what we're doing. And many of you continue to ignore us. And, um, it's sad, bro. Because there's so many people, bro. There is a guy, I'm going to say his name, okay? I'm going to say his name. His name was James Sheridan. All right? I noticed that uh he's no longer on my friends list on Facebook. It hurts me, bro. This was a Gentile friend of mine, okay? Like, I seen him as a friend. We hung out a lot on Keneva and on SL. And he was more so my ex-girlfriend's uh, friend more so than, than with me. Like, them two were, were closer than, than he was with me. You know what I mean? But we kicked it still yet. And uh, we all kicked it, you know? We all knew each other from Keneva. And, you know, our friendship continued over on SL. And, um, you know, I guess this truth is just too hard for some white people, you know? But I do what I do out of love. Not because I'm trying to set myself up above you, but no, the truth got to come out, though, that we have been forced to the bottom of you, okay? So you want to be in denial that you and your people have been on top. What reason would you have to delete me for bringing these things out, for speaking this truth? If you're a white person, if you're a European and you delete your black friend, your quote unquote black friend, and you refer to your friend as black, because, bruh, you don't want to understand what has happened, okay? You don't want to understand who we are. You don't want to understand who you are, okay? You don't want to understand who your forefathers were and how your forefathers get their hands on our land, okay? And how they get their status, all right? How they get their foothold, how they get their government, how they get their system that they set up over here and called it the United States of America. Bro, I'm tired, all right? But the scripture says, he that endured to the end shall be saved, okay? Well, the children of light has been having to endure all of this time while you people trample us, okay? Now, I ain't talking about James Sheridan, 
you know, trampling me. But, no, clearly, obviously, he has a problem with me talking about how we have been trampled as a people and been placed on the bottom of society. Okay? We are the true seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All the signs and wonders are upon us, okay? Not upon the pale-skinned Europeans over there in that created state of Israel that was brought to you by the United Nations, which are all pale-skinned people, okay? Man, I watched, I watched a video, that, I, well, I was listening to a video last night. Um by, I think, Runaway Slave. I think, was it Runaway Slave? Mm. I came across a lot of good channels lately, bro. I'm loving it, okay? And I'm gonna be having so much coming forth to y'all, bro. It's, it's unbelievable because the Father has just given me so much, okay? And I don't want to do too much talking at one time because I have to, I have to create these videos, okay? I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm different, okay? Like, it takes time for me to create these videos, okay? And I, I, I'm so far behind, bro. I'm so far behind. Like, it would be different if, if I was live or if I was doing, like, a podcast. And, you know, I didn't have to put no visuals up there. And But this is what the Father has called me to do, is to be creative with my content, you know? And, you know, give you a visual. Um, so, that's why... I don't want my videos long because it, just, it it takes long, bro. And I have, bro, oh my gosh. I still have, let me give this update right quick. Because I did bring out a lot. And, you know, right now, um, I am on a, a ban from YouTube. You know, for seven days, I got five days left on this ban, okay? Because I was banned two days ago. Um... Let's see, bro. I've I've recorded so much, okay. Um, I have. I'm working on "Woe Be Unto You." That was recorded on three seventeen, okay. <clears throat> I did upload. Uh, YouTube got no problem showing nakedness to minors yet age restrict my video. Um. We've been living in a time of the worst of the heathen. That's the worst of the heathen song, I believe. And, um, they, yeah, they deleted that. I'm tired of being afflicted because, and, and see, I, didn't, I, I was going to create the video that same day, but I just didn't have time, bro. Um, but on 316, something was wrong with my eye, my left eye. Okay, so I'm going to be having that come uh, later. Is like, I couldn't do it the same day that it was happening. Um, I had to fight through um, whatever the hell was happening with my eye. To I was in a process of compelling. Um, what is the name of that? Uh, beliefs are irrelevant. Yeah, beliefs are irrelevant. I think I was in a process of compelling beliefs are irrelevant. I was getting ready to start that, okay? And, um, bruh, as I'm trying to compel this, like, my eye, like, it seemed like something was wrong with my eye. Like, something was in my left eye, bro. And, um, it annoyed me all day. And, like, so I was being afflicted with that. And, um, so I recorded that day about that. And, um, let's see. So, okay. Then I got, like I said, I got beliefs are irrelevant. I'm still in the process of compelling that. Um, three, and that was recorded on 210. Um, I have 318. All because we speak in truth, they don't want you to know. Um, so I recorded that yesterday. Um... All right, so I got 3.15, 23, uh, day two, raw fast, 3.14, day one, raw, raw fast, um, 3.12, we are to walk in our purpose, not follow the world, 
okay? Uh, three one, you've been comfortable in Lucifer's kingdom. Three four, Mene Mene uh, to Cal. Three two, your time is up against the remnant. This is the prophecy coming for the wicked. And I still have 1029, the world has inherited lies, and 3823 are recorded hidden ones. Okay, do you see that my plate is full, and I have been uploading, like, a, a ton of stuff, okay, well, before they, you know, stop me um, for this seven days. So, um... Right now, like I said, I'm in a process of compelling beliefs are irrelevant, and I've recorded so much, okay? So, I already have a lot coming for you, and so I'm not going to keep this audio long at all. Shalom.